Debris and tree limbs can be found across South County after last night's storms. One of the hardest hit areas is a neighborhood in Lime. And that's where we find Fox News' Mallory Thomas with a look at the damage left behind. It's a familiar sound after severe storms. So we're trying to get it cut up a little bit at a time. Maybe cut that end off. Maybe we can get it off her. Tom Carter came home Thursday morning to chaos. I got four trees in the back that's down. Uh, this whole privacy fence is down. The roof's off the shed and the roofs on my house is tore up. Tom shows us even more damage in the backyard. His truck is totaled and estimates around $8,000 of damage to the roof and has already filed his insurance claim. Pay insurance. <laughs> you don't use it one day. I paid 30 years and I never used it, but I will now. Down the street from Tom, Amron trucks and tree cutters are flooding the streets. I've already got power back. They've been out here all night. They did a phenomenal job. Clint Cafola says the strong winds didn't last long. I didn't, you know, hear the typical, you know, sound like a freight train. There were no sirens, no nothing. It just sounded like a big wind for about 10 minutes, maybe 15, and that was it. But they left behind significant damage. Well, the first I saw was my shed wrapped around my neighbor's tree in the back, and I couldn't believe that, and my lawn furniture everywhere, and then I came out here and saw that and realized it was a lot more severe than I had anticipated. He says despite the damage to cars and lawns, neighbors feel lucky. Where you got so fortunate um, that none of these trees came down and cut anybody's house in half, I mean, we got very, very lucky. In St. Louis County, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.